Yay! Oh, okay, let's continue here. Right, we'll see you guys in the game. All right. Work is offline. I need you to find the server hub and reset it so I can get into the system. It should give us a better idea of what's going on in there. Man, from my memory, I remember that the inside of the the office area is the coolest fucking area. And let's see if that's the case. I think I'm gonna finish this interval here, interval four. Then I'm gonna go to sleep, guys. Uh, I think it's about halfway through the game. So if you guys come back tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll finish the game. So, let's see here. Let's finish this, though. Alright. So I have to turn on some hub... <laughs> let's be honest, we have to kill a guy. Potential? The plant it can be? I really don't understand this image. Is it a plant going through, going through concrete? This reminds me, like, in my backyard I have, like, there's cement, but there's, like, one little vine growing in between the wall of, that, of my apartment and, the, and the, the, the cement backing of the patio. My neighbor, my neighbor was gonna pull it out, and I said, nah, man. <laughs> look at that plant, look at the potential it has. Look at, look at what it's been through to grow through the cement. Why would you kill such a thing? <laughs> Let it thrive. It's tried so hard for life, let it go all the way. I don't know why that image brought that to mind, but it did. Uh, what's up with this? It's green, it's green so I can go in there, but it, it's red and that I can't actually access it. Oh, I see. I see. The copier's in the way. Hmm, can I slide through here? No. All right, there's usually one set path you go. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Take the virtual core, tour, hell no. Let us turn on the subsystems or whatever the heck he wants. Potential. Ooh, that's pretty neat. Huh, this, this, this reminds me. Was the big, big art mechanic conspiracy to try to take over the world with a satellite? Something like that, maybe? So they could, they could like nuke the world from orbit? Maybe. You can't destroy it, but you can mess it up. It's pretty cool. I love that a little bit of interaction. This is this is plot important, I think, so they don't let you destroy it, but you can still kind of fuck with it. It's pretty fucking cool. Anyway, as neat as that is, let's keep going. As with most video games, I check the chairs for hidden items, and there are none, so we continue. Ah, yes, this is the Karma Camp security team. You did a shitty job, dude. Oh, this is fancy glass. This is thick. Deflects bullets, even. I just, I just love misaligning the photos. <laughs> Some OCD people watching are gonna be like, no. <laughs> no messages? No messages. Ah, it's locked. Can't go that way. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> what's so what's so scary about poorly poorly measured out ceiling tiles? <laughs> oh, I can bicycle kick through these windows or these doors. Oh yeah, armor cam must be some weapons construction place. That kind of fits. I mean, they do they do create clones. That is so neat how the glass breaks though. It has like it has a cone where the projectile hits first and then everything falls apart besides it. That's so cool. Does that cone change? I think it does. Hmm. There's no sign of struggle here, though. I just want to let the, the paintings breathe. All right, we go this way. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Let's use our Alienware computer here. There's a reference to something called Icarus. It says here that it was a bioengineering program that started in 1973. Something about health issues related to microgravity, loss of muscle mass, bone density, shit like that. Ah, oh, interesting. Operation. Icarus. <laughs> These sturdy laptops. Arming our future. Arm a tech corporation. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I want you to slide across the table. Oh, there's a ramp already built for you. It's meant to be. Oh, how I wish you could nail them, their corpses, after they're dead. Sadly, you cannot. Okie dokie. Let's continue. Yeah, it's totally location based. That's pretty cool. Potential. The day I get tired of destroying random objects and shooters is the day I stop enjoying mm. video games. Yeah, but there's nothing in these areas, no? Nope, nothing. Let's continue. Oh, shit. Oh! The Electro Fox! This is where I fight him! It's totally still in there. I'm gonna send you back. I don't want you in the hallway. Where else would it have gone? Or did it go in the roof? Nah, it escaped. You know, I don't really remember these Electro guys. I don't think you see them for much of the campaign, I imagine. They just blew up this picture. They really like this photo. <laughs> they really like it. Those are heavy. Okie dokie. You have one new message. 
message. First message from an outside number. Peter, it's Carla at Hudson Avionics. Where is everybody? I can't reach anyone over there. I need to talk to Brett about this draft he sent over, but he hasn't returned my call. It's really important he gets back to me as soon as possible. Okay? Thanks. End of message. <laughs> she sounds so bitchy. Poor Brett, I'm sure he's already dead. Call Mel. Don't forget to. Don't forget to or you'll be upset. Oh, that's what that is. It's the wing of a satellite. Or it's a solar panel that uh, powers the damn thing. That's cool. I wish I could knock it down. I'm pretty sure you can. No. Neat, though. I should be mindful. Those electro guys are invisible. I'm sure they're waiting to surprise the shit out of me at some point. I can go upstairs or I can investigate down here. I'm gonna investigate. Nothing. It was shotgun though. Yes! <laughs> You're meant to use it in these areas. You're meant to cubicle shotgun cubicles. Whoa! That is so cool! Oh, it dies like anything else, though. That is so neat, they're wall huggers. Yeah, that I kind of remember. I gotta look up for these bastards. Oh, well, if they like walls, they can stay on the wall. Let's, let's nail them to the walls. Or we could nail them to the roof. Oh, wow. I think one hit took out all of my armor. You son of a bitch. They're resilient as all hell, too. Hmm. One on one, they're really not that scary, not at all. In fact, I fear enemies with guns far more than I fear them so far. Stealth bombers, they make guns, they make satellites, just about anything. You have three new messages. First message from Chuck Haberger. It's Chuck Haberger. I've analyzed the ratings and I'm recommending we suspend Perseus till we can figure out what's causing the synchronization. The patterns are identical to what we saw last time, but obviously the consequences would be a hell of a lot. We should speak up, Chuck. Next message from Chuck Haberger. I got your message. Maybe you've forgotten that when this happened before, Fettel was only a child. And the fallout of that fuck-up was that Origin had to be permanently shut down. This time, we're talking about a highly trained military commander with a telepathic link to hundreds of soldiers that don't think for themselves. If you're worried about being behind schedule now, imagine what'll happen if we end up with a full-scale revolt. Next Why not just kill Fettel at that point? Marshal Disler. Hi, it's Marshal. Just got off the phone with Chuck Habegger. Really worried about his findings. He said he talked to you about suspending the program temporarily, and I 
I've got to agree. If there's even the slightest chance of another synchronicity event, we've got to take it seriously. I'm gonna head over to the Perseus compound and check things out myself. Why don't you give me a call to my cell? Let's discuss this. End the mm. <laughs> Never fails in video games that the companies, the, the weapons companies, are, are run by the stupidest of management. <laughs> hmm. This guy we got in holding, who has a psychic link to all the uh, clones we built that we have armed. They're not just sitting in tubes or in vats. No, no, we have them all armed and doing things, but they have a psychic link to this guy that we have imprisoned and who hates us. Oh, yeah, yeah, keep him alive. <laughs> keep him alive! Make sure he's just not disgruntled. Give him some toys. That'll he'll be fine. <laughs> he won't make him revolt. Well, poor management aside, we're not here for that. There's a fucker in here. Hmm. They were invisible opponents, but I could kind of see their silhouettes. I don't think there's anyone in here. <laughs> That's so cute! <laughs> An office cactus. That's a great plant for the office. You don't even gotta remember to water it too much. It's very cute and it flowers too. This I won't shoot. Executive business? Man, this reeks so much of copy-paste. <laughs> I mean, at least change the image. They're right next to each other. I'm wary of, of Electro dudes jumping on me, but so far there are none. Have set up roadblocks all over downtown in response to the incident. No one is being allowed into the area except for emergency personnel. Been unable to confirm the precise nature of the crisis, although at least one official has suggested that it may involve terrorism. Terrorism. Diego Rodriguez, live on the scene. Thanks, Phil. We're being told that just before 5 p.m. today, gunfire was reported at the downtown headquarters of Armacamp Technology Corporation, a major defense contractor. Now, what followed is unclear at this point. U.S. Army helicopters were seen approaching the building, but we've heard nothing since. Police are urging citizens to remain at home say there is very little danger of the situation spreading outside of the cordoned area. Phil, back to you. That was Diego Rodriguez coming to us live from the police blockade downtown. Today's crisis at Armacam comes on the heels of a report that one of its vice presidents was kidnapped at gunpoint this morning on his way to work. Police are refusing to speculate as to whether the events are connected. Mm. <laughs> Okie dokie. The events won't spill. It's still over. I wonder how big they made their army. Also weird that their their main office building is just in the center of the city. I think they'd have like a bunker or like a, a giant swath of land so they could like do their experiments incognito, but no. No, they probably do actually. This is just the main like office area. Oh, I think I go up here. Totally. That's telling me to go up there. But I don't want to. I didn't check out the office enough. Ah, there's nothing in here. Okie dokie. Well, let's continue then. We got a little dose of plot. These guys are tiny enough to fit up here. Shit!
Shoot, I see you. Run at me, bitch. Oh, what hit me? Something hit me. I couldn't see it, though. Son of a bitch! Hmm. I kind of want to melee these guys, but at the same time, they're made of electricity. I think that would be unwise. Facing the wrong way. I think I shot it in that direction. Damn. I doubt the security door killed him, unless it really comes with some force. Nah, he's, he's wedged in there. Totally wedged. Is he? I think I'm forcing him out of there. I want to believe I am. No, he's stuck. Oh, well. I'll dislodge your body when cleanup crew arrives. I have a surplus of healing at this moment. I can't go up there though. Can't move this either. Hmm. Don't shoot. My name is Norton Mapes. I'm an engineer. Shit, it's a civilian. Give him a comm link. Oh, to give a character. Okay. <laughs> Norman Bates, or Norman Mates. <laughs> look at that face. Doesn't it just look like an evil bastard? That smug motherfucking face. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of a... Uh... Dang. <laughs> I'm tired, so it doesn't come to me, but... Who was that? Who was that character from Seinfeld? <laughs> Dang it. Norman. Oh, it's Newman. <laughs> That's what he reminds me of. But here, have a con link. Hello? Who are you people? The good guys. Are you alright? Oh sure. I'm having a hell of a time. You said you're an engineer? Can you help me get into the network? What am I, an IS lackey? Tell you what, you disable the local security system and I'll see what I can do about the server. I can disable it remotely once I'm logged in. No, you can't. It's on a separate network. Hi there, Norman. <laughs> Back that away. Why do you want us to bring down the security system anyway? Never mind why. You want my help, that's the price. <laughs> He's so insufferable. I think I think the reason this guy exists, now that I reflect on it, is just it, 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 comic relief. I think this game this game lacks any comic relief. You need some. Every horror movie or game or thing needs need some comedy. Some lightheartedness to like just change the tone, just just slightly. I think that's why you exist oh, here. No. <laughs> you walking, glutton, you. Are you just gonna stand here? I could probably him? bite kick him, but I bounce off his fat stomach. <laughs> Okie dokie, Norman. Hey, at least you know what? It's actually intelligent of him to to carry some rations with him, in case he was stuck in the ceiling tiles for a while. Yeah, surplus of healing. I have no need for this. All right, well, let's uh, activate the service. Poos? Get your own. Ah! 
That's how the game resolves that. Well, I have my own cheesy poo. So oh, you already ate these, you fucking tavalard. Okie dokie. Let's continue. Very well, Norman. Wow, so many health packs. I don't really need them. Thank you, though. Oh, we can't force him out. <laughs> he only goes one way, though. Yeah, because it's his torso. His legs aren't as wide. Okie dokie. Alright, we don't go this way. Did I knock that? Something knocked that. Oh, this is totally his office. <laughs> Disgusting. The man just leaves a trail of cheesy poos. What are they called? Cheese poos. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> That's awesome. I would like to try and sample a cheesy food. Robo drone, what? Oh, snap. Do they see me? They don't see me yet. They announced it. Hmm, I'll surprise the shit out of them. Ah, oh, there's a few of them. I have all of one bullet in the pistol. It's worthless. Oh, dude, surprise the shit out of this guy. Howdy! Shit! Forge! Damn. Alright! No, he's obviously dead. Hostile! Shit. Closing! Oh, fuck! Bicycle kick him! Oh, that worked. Shit. Oh. <laughs> I made him miss his name, Chuck. Okay, though. We're back with Norman. All right. Let's try that. Let's try this different. My problem is I don't have a third weapon. I have these pistols, but they're kind of useless at the moment. Especially since they have one bullet. There they go. Now they're completely, truly worthless. Oh, snap! Fuck. Did I get him? Ah, oh, they turned the corner. Can't see. They're probably going around and gonna jump down. Mm. 
Shit. Not a wise move. Fuck. Oh, I really want to go up this way. I can't flank them, but they can flank me. Damn it. Did the job, Jesus. <laughs> That's a little overkill. Maybe I should finally get rid of these. Uh, I love the dual pistols. This, this works. Uh, I just feel like it's a little lame, but it works. It works. What do I prefer here? Ah, this, this is cool. It's green. It's colorful. That's a cute little death slam. I'm jealous. Backup towers and everything. Okay. Yes! And this glass is bulletproof. I'm so safe in here. Alright, simple enough. Oh my goodness! Eh, this is kind of all I want. Unless I could, I could dual wield this? Nah. Dual wielding. Oh no, wait, wait, wait a second. Screw that! Pistol's way more exciting. Oh, I'm chock full of nades. Oh, there's gonna be one hell of a firefight. Look at this. Yeah, there's gonna be a hell of a firefight. That's what did that do? Mr. Mapes, do you copy? Mr. Mapes! Where is that idiot? Oh, Norman. Fuck it. We'll just have to do this the hard way. Okay, find that server and reboot it. They must be so out of, out of breath running that short distance. <laughs> He's panting his way to the server room. Let's beat him to it. Hmm, I could go find my pistols that I dropped. There we go. Hmm, what did that open? No, wait, no, no, he was here. They must have ran through here. Oh, I can finally pick up all these excess health kits. Yeah, just follow the Cheeto trail, man. You'll find him. Oh shit! Damn, that's not enough. Oh, there's this though. Let him turn the corner and then get out there. They might not come in for you. They totally did. That's where you fucked up! No, I think, I think they're all dead. <laughs> yeah, this guy's the guy that took the nade. That nade did hit somebody.
<laughs> if we even desecrate their body part. Well, they're actually rather intelligent for clones. Damn! We can tackle this. <laughs> I think that's it. Fuck! Make my day, punk. Make my day. I don't think he's going to. I could make that wall a whole, yeah, I could make that a, a gallery of bad guys right here. I'll go. Damn. The free flowing legs. Oh, this guy, this guy had it worse. <laughs> Something about their legs just like rotating freely like that is hilarious. Oh, I never activated this computer. All right, it's uploading. Can't forget the alien wares. Got shut down in favor of something called Perseus, which, from what I can tell, is funded by DOD. I'm guessing that's where Fennel and his soldiers came from. Perseus. There is the Perseus mandate, which I hear is the worst expansion pack. We'll see ourselves, though. Oh, I can close this. No. Nope. Let's continue. This is Jin. We're on the roof, heading inside. Copy. Proceed to rendezvous. Oh, Jin's actually doing something. Ain't that amazing? <laughs> she didn't help me in the warehouse area, but no, she's here. Here to lend a hand. Hmm. Should I activate this? There's gonna be a firefight. If I activate this, enemies will come. Oh, and it'll be glorious. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do I have ammo in my pistols? Oh, I do. Perfect. Okay, I'm showing that the network has been rebooted. Good job. We'll take a minute. Shit. <laughs> Your head made it in. No, all of it made it out. <laughs> it was rolling inside of here. Fuck you, dude. I will leave through this window. Damn it. I totally wish I could copy that ability from him. I can't do it. I can't fit through these windows. Oh, well. Maybe. Nope. I'm just, I don't know, my stature. Point man's too tall. Point man's too tall. Oh, they had gas masks. But they didn't try to gas me, though. Oh, I could totally play soccer with this right here. Oh, can I? I should be able to. No? Oh, well. I'll put you with your body. <laughs> it's only right. There you go. Except we send the body far away. <laughs> he has his head in his laps. <laughs> That's something. He kicked his own head. Okie dokie. <laughs> as macabre as this is, let's move on. That Mapes guy was right about security being on a separate network. I can monitor the camera feed, but I don't have any direct access to the system. 
Okie dokie, then you can tell me where enemies are coming, that's something. Damn, this place is a fascination with cactus. Cacti are pretty cool plants, though. That's fine by me. I got a cactus on my windowsill. I don't water it that often. That's why I have it. Because <laughs> cactuses don't need it that much. Oh, it's, this kind of looks like some server area. It's blue. <laughs> I figure servers are blue. The glow, of, uh, the glow of monitors and electronics are always blue. What? Oh, was that Alma? It's totally Alma. <laughs> I missed an Alma sighting. No. Maybe, maybe like like this. They they gave these out. Management gave it out to the workers one day as some present of sorts to get to boost morale within the workplace. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. It totally worked. If I worked here, I'd be happier. With a little cactus on my desk. Oh. Totally. <laughs> That's a solid sound effect for that being kicked, too. You're heading toward the last known location of that Delta team. Secure the site and wait for Jen. Oh, I could find out what happened to Joukowsky here. Oh, he's nearby. I was made from her, and I was born from her. We are separate, but we are one. Uh, okay, okay. You got mama issues, Fatal. My land, my my light, last light keeps dying. Cause I don't let it charge. That's what it is. Just walk in darkness. Spooky ghosts. I think the best way to deal with spooky ghosts is this. Poor Alma. A tortured figure inside the Fear series. I wonder if they kill me if they touch me. They probably do. She is a prisoner, floating in darkness, like the unborn in the womb. Soon I will find her, and I will set her free. Shit, I lost him again. Fuck! The prototypical villain talk. <laughs> it's K though. I think I think Fatel's kind of a cool villain overall. Damn, the game is so forgiving. Like I'm getting I'm getting so many health packs. I, I can't I don't know what to do with them all.
Oh, this is great. It's a whole line of things to hit. Oh, and none of them count as solid objects? What? Yet I couldn't kick them. Uh, not solid enough for my feet to hit. There's a lot of anger in this room. That's great. Got anything useful to add? I don't see any bullet mm -hmm. holes. There's no brass lying around either. These guys didn't fire a shot. <laughs> and what killed them? I don't know. Well, figure it out. All right, buddy, get moving. Battle's gotta be close. Oh, I finally get backup? I'm not sure where to start. <laughs> Take another picture so I can see the silhouette of this on the wall. Maybe a chemical agent? This is going to take some time. Again, these two. <laughs> Jin and her cohort. Who do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, okay. Well, you continue taking photographs. I guess that's your job and all, but... I don't know what it'll offer you. It's just pools of blood, baby. That's all it is. Man, the fury contained with Alma to just, like, spontaneously combust people. <laughs> Alright, well, glad you're being as useful as always. Appreciate it. I'm gonna go save the day, you know. Figure out the conspiracy. You guys take photos. <laughs> Keep taking What's photos. <laughs> you don't have my back. You only have her back. You don't give a shit about me. Screw these guys. I can't lock them in there. Whatever. Whatever. I'm continuing. It'd be hilarious if I get in a firefight like right here and they don't offer any assistance at all. Huzzah! situation of missing SFOD team have been found. <laughs> they are but pools of blood spattered across a large room. Fear mission coordinator has detected Paxton Fettel's transmitter signal in the area. Arma camp personnel are presently unaccounted for. The fear combat operative will attempt to intercept Fettel. Here we go. Plus we have, we have Norman on, on the loose here. <laughs> Fucking Norman. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting real tired here. I'll beat this game tomorrow. Well, my friends. It's fun to revisit fear. Real fun to revisit it. I don't think it's it's the best first-person shooter single-player adventure ever made. Hell, I, I think it's awfully silly in certain parts. But it's it's got a good mixture of gunplay and uh, and atmosphere and tension. It's got a good build-up, you know. Uh, if this is this is it's a good game. The other fears fall quite short. They go from good game to uh, games. In, in the case of Fear 3, they kind of just turn into bad games, but... Uh, yeah. Pretty fun, about as good as I remember it. It's aged well. It's still a great game. I really, I, I can't think of too many other, like, really standout first-person shooters that have a memorable campaign. And the ragdolling is still stupendous as always. <laughs> I've wasted so much time with those ragdolls. But yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna finish this. Then I'm gonna work on a different game. 
But it's fun to revisit a game that I got a lot of enjoyment out of, and it's, I'm still getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. It's still... It's still given. The giving bloody tree of fear. Uh...